to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. You. I uh, wanted to talk to you about something that everybody hates. Uh, is it about you becoming a man? <laughs> yes. Everyone is so mad that I hit puberty. You're experiencing remember, changes. Yes. I've, I've had some changes. Uh, everybody hates Ticketmaster. I noticed that. Yeah. 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 And uh, rightfully so, honestly. I mean,. I've been using Ticketmaster for many, many years because I've been going to events for many, many years, and okay. I have always hated them. Even when I had to go in person to pick up tickets. Ooh, back in the 1900s. Back, in, <laughs> right? Back in the back in the 1900s. Um, so essentially, for those of you who who don't know, the the like the, the just like the I think it's the Justice Department has finally opened up an antitrust probe into Ticketmaster. Oh, really? What happened? They pissed off Taylor Swift's fans. Yep. So they they had a pre-sale because Tay-Tay going on World Tour out here. All the people want to go see her. Please don't call her Tay-Tay. Uh, and they botched the pre-sale so incredibly poorly that they just canceled the on-sale ticket. Yep. So now the only way to get tickets is through secondary market. And they're like, some of them were upwards of $28,000. You, you say secondary market, really you mean scalpers. Well, and here's the problem. Ticketmaster does the secondary market. So it behooves them to let the tickets go on the secondary market because they make more egregious fees. How much were the tickets going for, Jonas? Tell them. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, the tickets were going for like nineteen hundred. Oh, I just said $28,000 were yeah, some yeah, of them yeah, as yeah. high as. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the problem. Like... And, and this is just in general. Like I've done this. Like you go to go to buy tickets to an event, and you're like, "Oh, the seats are thirty bucks. That's reasonable." Two tickets, sixty bucks. You go to check out. It's like one hundred and seventy dollars, and you're like, "Whoa, wait, hold up a second. Their convenience fee, their ticketing. I'm like, bitch, this is all digital. Like you ain't even printing a paper ticket." Honestly, it it is kind of messed up that Ticketmaster has, you know, like it used to be synonymous with selling tickets. Now it's like the only way to purchase tickets. Right. So they can upsell, they can upcharge. This happened with uh, Blink-182 too, yep. just yep. recently um, when they had their concert tour going on and their tickets were going for like 500, 600, 700, 800, 900,000 dollars sometimes. You can't even go see Blink. Yeah, Not that right. I want to see Blink, but well, if you want to see Blink, you can't see well, Blink. It, well, I think the, the main problem is when you are the when you are the market maker for tickets and you're the secondary market maker for tickets and you make more money on the secondary market than you yeah. make on the primary market. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you going to set any regulation to not let scalpers buy up thousands of tickets to then just immediately make you more money when yeah. you sell them for the second Cause, time? Because you undercut. You try to undercut the scalpers. Right. It's like they could easily put systems in place. Like here, here's the easiest way: no more than four tickets anyone can buy at all. Period. Oh, but what if I need more? And that's not, that's, I don't twice. feel like that's gonna stop anybody. Though. Well, no, they're just gonna set up. They set up bot accounts and they buy four tickets on a hundred accounts or whatever. Exactly. Well, I guess what happened on this one would normally for pre-sales because I do get pre-sale notifications from venues around Austin. You have to go. You go to Ticketmaster, then you enter in the code before you can even look at what available tickets are there. What I read online in this particular situation, you didn't have to enter the code until you went to your cart to check out. So there were millions of people trying to buy tickets because once the tickets are bought or are selected, they're held for five minutes while you check out. Sure. So thousands of people are going there selecting tickets who don't have a presale code. Mm. So it looks like it sells out. But then they can't buy them because they don't have the pre-sale code. Mm. And then, which just basically allows scalpers to just keep going and buying, buying, and buying, mm -hmm. and buying, and buying, and buying, mm -hmm. and buying. And then, and then, and, but then here's the thing. They've never flubbed hard enough to be like, well, we're just not going to put on general publics. So, like, literally no one had a chance to buy a ticket Rid at, like, the regular way to buy a Ridiculous. ticket. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And it's really, it's honestly, it's a shame. Like, I always talk up technology and how... Things are way better now that we have, like, uh, the internet and right, ways right. to get services without leaving the comfort of your home. This is one of those times where I have to say it's like, you know, the internet's kind of effing it up for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. The convenience like, is causing you hundreds and thousands of dollars. Yeah. And, and, and it's affected us all. Like, I definitely remember when I was trying to get, like, a uh, an Xbox 
S or a uh, oh yeah, like for like Black Friday or Walmart, like you, yeah. know, you go and you're trying to like refresh. And it's like you go on you go on the app and then you're like, all right, uh, they go on sale in five seconds. All right, refresh, refresh, refresh. They're sold out. Yeah, and you're sold like, out. And you're like, how is that even possible? It's like I uh, yeah, it's like they literally went on sale thirty seconds ago and they're already sold. It's out. It's like that uh, South Park thing. It's like we're gonna give you all my money to invest and it's gone. And it's gone. Yep. <laughs> like that's basically what it is. So, so this happens with with anything that's new, uh, tech industry, phones, shoes. Um, if you're a sneakerhead, it, it, so it, it only makes sense that it would affect your Taylor Swift tickets. So I'm sorry, Jonas. Yeah, that I can't we, go see my my favorite. We're not going this yeah, year. Yeah, I know. All right? We're yeah. not going out this year. All right. Yeah, I know, dude. I was all I was all uh, tuckered out from buying tickets. <laughs> yeah, and stiff now... upper lip though, stiff... <laughs> champ. <laughs> Stiffing up that upper lip, little soldier. So, yeah. yeah, we'll we'll go see somebody else. We'll go see Ariana Grande. All right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just for you, just for but you. uh, but I thought it was funny that. This is what brought the straw that broke the camel's back. That they were finally like, okay, we need to investigate Ticketmaster now. Sure. This shit has been going on for twenty plus years. Yeah, yeah. Like it is, it is ridiculous. Like, yeah, because I just tried to. What was I just? I was, was I trying to look for tickets for something? It, it like turns me off so bad when like the fees are double what the tickets cost. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I don't, I, it's just the principle of like, I don't even want to go see this if that's, what, and that's, no. the, the artist has nothing to do with it. So, so Jonas, really, the real question here is, is capitalism really just the preceptor to uh, basically a scam? Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, capitalism so, is, is, yeah, is this, good. This is capitalism, so it's like, hey, how can we make money? Oh, it, we can charge Supply and demand, right? Like, it's, I mean, but when you control the supply, you control where you sell the supply, yeah, yeah, you control yeah, yeah. where you sell the secondary supply, and you're all three, and then you're like, oh, I don't know what happened. Oh, they're $30,000 a piece. Like, or there's a problem. Or if you even think about the fact that, how, just like how you said, how there's like all of these charges and fees, it's like, motherfucker, all we're doing is tapping a button. How much is the, the transfer fee for that? Like a quarter of a second? Yeah, like you got to have servers, right? And they have a cost. Yeah. But like... What's the service fee, the delivery fee, the blah, blah, blah? I'm no, like, none of that. None of that like, matters. You have no, like, you you can't even say we're printing a paper ticket, which would cost you a, maybe a dollar at the most. Because, yeah. yeah, you do print it on nice cardboard, you know, that's nice. Yeah, you but, have to save it and frame it. Yeah, like, but it's like, what the hell are you, what are the fees? Exactly. So Especially I'll, when they're more than the goddamn ticket. That's nuts, man. How are you, how are you charging me fees for a digital service? Right. Like I get that there's costs involved. They have they have customer service reps. They have servers. They have things, nah, right? Nah, but not nah. not eighty dollars per ticket sold worth. Nah, man, it's a scam. It's a scam, and it's a shame that it has to be like this. But you know, cap capitalism needs uh, just as much scrutiny as any any other. Yeah, system. well, and the problem it's the problem not with perfect. anything, man. It's it's everything. When people create these systems, they're made for the purpose of good. And if sure. they, and if they're and people if people use no. them the way that they're meant to be used, no. <laughs> it, it, it works and whatever. But greed, gray area, yeah. loopholes. Everyone's like, "Well, it's not illegal for me to do it, so I'm gonna <laughs> gouge everyone." No, nope. like, bro, but it's ethics. No, nah, fam. There's no way you're gonna explain to me how the internet just keeps going up in price every goddamn year. Like, how come my internet costs more this year? Our than internet has cost the same. Actually, I, went down look, since. Jonas, we... let me get my my anger off. All right, let all right, go get, ahead. Yeah, internet it's keep, up so much. Internet keep going up. It does. Rent keep going up. Right. Bills keep going up. Inflation. Thanks, Joey B. I was going to Joe Biden did it all, Jonas. <laughs> Fall Joe Biden. I mean, fall. The, the trumpet set it up, and the Biden played it out. You know, it's Taylor like... Swift going broke all because of Joe Biden. <laughs> Taylor, what are we going to do? Taylor Swift is definitely going broke. She must be protected at all costs. I mean, Tay-Tay's my baby. Right? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm that's, done. I'm done. That's how it goes, right? I don't know. How you feel? I don't know. I don't even know. Was that? I just heard people call her that. I could not name a single Taylor Swift song, so I really but don't No, there's care. that one song. Hold on. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. oh, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. That song. That's the yeah. only one I know. Nope. I don't believe that's her. Sorry. Is it? Nope. It's not. That's uh, Kelly Clarkson. Sorry. Oh, damn it. Okay. No, it is definitely. T I don't know. Oh, I no. don't know. Hey, if you know, tell us in the comments because I really don't. Nope. Uh, but anyways, go to thecrazytown.com. That's all the time we got for today's episode. For Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.